<laughs> One more time. We're going to Atlanta. on the road on our way to ATL and for no reason. <laughs> she literally moved home from college <laughs> today. She moved from two hours away and I didn't know if we were gonna make the trip because I was like, are you are you really gonna like <laughs> drive <Yep. laughs> hours to Atlanta yep. the same day you graduate or you move back from being graduated? Also, congrats to her. She just graduated from college. I have a degree. She's degreed. And I don't know what we're doing in Atlanta. But I think we're gonna go get late night sushi at like 10 o'clock at night. So I will see you guys then. So I don't know what I told you guys we were going to be doing next, but we're now at a waterfall in Greenville, North Carolina. I'll zoom in and show you. I believe it's called Reedy Falls. Uh, so I have artichoke, uh, kale, some nuts. It's just like a little snack and then I packed her pretty much the same thing. Uh, but she has hummus with it. And we're just enjoying this super cool waterfall. So our night got weirder and weirder and we literally just ate our sushi in the car because it just kept getting later <laughs> and now we're still two hours away just she's just driving her little heart out about three hours ago we stopped at Whole Foods and got desserts because we knew by the time we got to Atlanta everything would be closed so I ended up getting eat pastry cookie dough and she found a like vegan gluten-free brownie from Whole Foods and I guess we're gonna just like split those and eat them when we get to the Airbnb and just pass out. I will check in tomorrow. Good morning! So we are here in Atlanta. We finally got there very late last night and now we are getting green, well Emily's getting a green juice. I'm getting a rabbit snack, which is like a beet juice. And it's at this like organic juice place. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's called Juice Heads. And the inside is so cute. There's Emily. They have these little clear chairs. And then here you can either play or you can color in the coloring book. bit too excited in here and I totally forgot to vlog everything we just ate but I'm gonna include pictures here <laughs> and this is like a little cake that we were eating it's like a raspberry mousse cake and now we're going to take a walk and go see the sights of Atlanta so see you then Man, but this view is so awesome. We just took a couple of photos in this area. And then behind me is some skyscrapers. <laughs> Call me Caesar when I spot the total generator. 
Put you in the cushions, long slow motion, no, no rushing. Shush up quiet, follow my instructions. Let me sit down on it, boy, I know you're feeling it. You can't understand it, the way I'm doing it. I kill it, kill it, everyone be Oh, okay. I just got that on camera. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I'm so jealous so, that you're vlogging. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so you've been in Atlanta your whole life? Yes, um, I've been in Atlanta my entire life, like literally. But if you really think about it, what do you what do you mean when you say the word real? Because anything can be real. But if and, you really it's, think it's, about it's real it, as you want it to be, anything, anything is as real as you want it to be. But yeah. we always, we always put like a people have this tendency where they want to put a certain definition on what is real and what's not real, what is fantasy and what is fiction. But if you look around, everything that we have today started out as an idea of someone's mind, someone's conscious. Yeah. And the, that's how the universe expands. It's a constant expansion of the mind you know it's things that we people thought were impossible back in the day that you would get killed for even speaking about yeah but then anything's possible it, the, there's a camera in my face that is capturing me right now that can be <laughs> uploaded to an internet and people <laughs> millions of miles away can see me talking to them yeah that's a miracle that's that's, yeah. that's the magic of that's that's the magic that we all to some degree inhabit that we all feel that we all know on some intuitive level there is a certain there there are certain levels to how far your spirituality can go in the sense that you realize that as a human being as an actual human being you are the only you this is a very powerful thing to realize that there is no one on earth that can say that they're you you are a unique creation. You are a unique universe creation. There, there's no one that is you. It's like your humanity versus your spirituality. Your humanity versus your spirituality. And it's, 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 it's a very, 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 very tragic thing. It's, a, it's very sad that um, it's the type of world that we live in, but it's also on the positive side, you know, there's 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 always levels to grow levels to stand the fact that i'm even having this experience with youtube right now is a beautiful thing because we're we can have this expansion a lot of people have this misconception where everything is just black and white yeah where it's either all good or it's all bad or mm -hmm. you know all these things these things are so terrible but there's also there's also a there's also a a, a hint there, there's a hint for you in every single dark thing that happens into your life, I don't care how bad it is, there is a light there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you can, when we say, when we stress equality to the point where we kind of demote our diversity, that's when it becomes a problem because yeah. then we're trying to make it seem like there's something bad about our diversity. It's very, it, it, it's good that we're all different exactly. because that is how we expand. If everything was the same, if people were all born the same, equal, then there would be no real experience. Yeah. It is through our, it's through, it's through our personal diversity and our personal journey that we contribute to the whole of the progressive collective. I want to just say I'm glad that you have embraced your individuality and that's something we clearly saw from 20 feet away. <laughs> And I thank you so much for letting us talk to you and film this. And it's really nice to get to know you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, I Sexy, but I'm 
so you won't take charge, yeah. Okay, girl, I know mind. Go do your thing, girl, I'll be quiet, yeah. I know lie. Maybe when I say it's your time, you say make a whole tight. Now she said you won't give me she that. She me African ways like T.Y. which is actually really really cool and we got an arepa and yes that looks like cheese but it's actually corn and there's avocado and tomato on it and this is like corn and then this is papaya and yellow watermelon okay now I'm at something called frog market it's off of frog street and so like there's a pizza place behind me we are getting sushi from this place and it we're doing a make your own roll there is a homemade chocolate place right here they make it in the store there's a pet place it's like this super cool market kind of like uh, Reading Terminal in Philadelphia there's just like people hanging out everywhere super cute shops this is the best so we just got <laughs> this ice cream and it's vegan and it's made of charcoal, coconut milk, chocolate, some chocolate, and I'm about to take her picture. Wave! <laughs> <laughs> so you guys saw how crazy our day already was with speaking to that guy and watching him dance. Not only did that happen, I got a message inviting me to a mansion pool party tonight. We like, neither of us packed bathing suits cause like, I don't know, we didn't expect to be doing anything like that while we were here. And so then we like looked for bathing suits, didn't find what we wanted. So we were kind of just like, eh, let's just go eat and go to Super H Mart and then eat some dessert be old and lumpy. So I will not be showing you a mansion because I am old and lumpy. <laughs> we have just arrived at an Asian restaurant and surprise, surprise, we are literally eating sushi for the second time today and the third time in 24 hours. <laughs> so far I have a miso soup. We just got our smoothie bowls and this place is super cute on the inside. I ended up getting a coconut water spirulina bowl and it comes in this cute glass. If they think that you are eating in, poor Emily has like this <laughs> plastic thing. But I'll use it again. I'll keep this and use it as a to-go container for other places. It looks so good. It looks I like know. ice cream. I'm so excited. This is what I wanted. The only reason I got this bowl is because it has peanut butter on it, but it only looks like they put the tiniest bit of peanut butter. I'm gonna make this vlog worth watching. So I'm gonna give you a few tips for like trying to be healthy while you're traveling. So one is literally what she's doing. We bought these giant water bottles and you pay for it once. It was like 69 cents. Yes, it was 69 cents. <laughs> this giant water bottle at Whole Foods. At Whole Foods. Another tip is bringing snacks along with you on the road. This is a silly example because it's low key a dessert, but it's a healthier dessert. It's like grain free, vegan, all these different things. Uh, we also had a bunch of granola bars on our way to Atlanta from you know Charlotte. It was like a four hour trip. And so instead of stopping at fast food, which God, I forget people actually do. <laughs> you can just bring your snacks with you, which saves money and you know that what you're having is healthy. So here's an update and a vegan hack. So we ordered grape leaves from a Greek restaurant and the hack is 
I ordered it online from Grubhub and in the notes I wrote no tzatziki sauce no tzatziki sauce I'm vegan and when we got there the guy was like oh I added in some tahini sauce and, and it, it's vegan and we're like oh thank you how nice along with that if you are vegan for the reason of being sustainable or if you're trying to have like a sustainable lifestyle in the notes you can also write that you don't want utensils and napkins especially if you bring your own wherever you go I really wish I did that but I totally forgot at the time because like we always carry around our own utensils we just went to the gym really quick just to she's not very happy about it <laughs> <laughs> we did like a quick workout some little like leg stuff we did some Russian deadlifts did the leg press uh, did some band work and sorry I was looking at somebody <laughs> we're at a gas station it's a little bit rainy we still have about two hours left to go of our trip but I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and we are finally gonna eat this cookie that I showed you guys like ages ago and I got myself a little tan Emily just yelled at this girl and told her she loved her leggings <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you this is so funny <laughs> everyone here is just talking to each other interrupting my outro no it's cute anyway thank you for watching if you like videos like this that's good because I'm gonna keep making them because I enjoy traveling and vlogging so see ya